Uh, thank you all for being here today. It is really exciting for me to be here and to be able to announce this new program. Um, we've seen now in the recent weeks real positive things coming to Seattle in this region, coming out of COVID, and today is really one of those exciting things. Investing in education and building pathways of opportunity for our youth is critical to the future of Seattle. It is the only way we will really reopen our economy that is just and open for everybody. Um, it has been a long journey on this one program, but I'm so excited we'll be here today to announce that we will be training firefighters for years to come on the skills they need to join one of the best departments in the country. Firefighters work for the community every day, working to keep them safe. The Fire Science Associates Degree Program is the only program of its kind being offered in King County. So this is a really exciting time to do it, and to do it right here where our firefighters get trained is so great. You can see behind me the new recruits working on what they're the building their skills as firefighters. But it has to start somewhere, and this program is one of those places that we're going to open up doors. When I proposed the Seattle Promise program um, at the beginning of my term, two free years of college for every Seattle public school student, we knew that building a pipeline of opportunity for our kids was critical to the future of our city. We also now are expanding those opportunities for our youth to other industries, including this one, the important, the Seattle Fire Department. This program will help make the program, uh, help build the future, but it's also going to make sure that our fire department reflects the community that they serve. Graduates of this program will be better prepared and they'll be entering the fire department advanced of many other individuals. It's also going to give current firefighters a way to get additional training and education so we continue our improvement. That mantra of continuous improvement has been essential to the Seattle Fire Department and Seattle Police Department and I'm so proud of Chief Scoggins at all he's doing to make sure we do that. This past year we have relied on the fire department in ways we never anticipated. In the beginning of the pandemic they were the first in the country to stand up a testing facility of first responders for first responders. We then expanded that to citywide testing. Then they helped us ramp up free access to vaccinations across the city, and particularly to serve those communities who were hardest hit by the pandemic, both economically and health-wise, which was our community of colors. They set up the mobile vaccination team, um, and because of them, we are the safest city in America right now. We still have a great challenge. We have an incredible challenge still with COVID, but we have the lowest number of hospitalizations, disease and death, and one of the highest vaccination rates in the country. As the city continues to rethink what the future looks like, we'll also be rethinking what can fire departments do to expand their footprint. We saw the expansion, not just with vaccinations and with testing, but with Health One, and seeing how our medics can serve our community in so many ways. I'm really pleased that the recruits will have these opportunities. I have to say though, this program would not be possible without deep collaborations across many people. And those collaborations continued throughout the pandemic. When things were bad, we kept building and kept building programs like this. The leadership of the Seattle Colleges, and I think you'll hear from Chancellor Plan, the North Seattle College, we have a new head of North Seattle College who you're going to meet, um, and from the Seattle Fire Department and King County Fire Chiefs Association. Working together to build these programs, to vision into the future what it is that we want for Pathways of Opportunities is critical to not just coming out of this pandemic, but it's critical to that healthy Seattle of the future for decades to come. I want to thank the voters as well. This would not have been possible without the family and education levy that passed that enabled us to have funding for a program like this. And of course, I have to thank the leadership of Chief Harold Scoggins. Throughout this pandemic, he has met every challenge I've laid down for him, and they have been steep. And through it all, he also made sure he never let his eyes off the ball of continuing to think about that fire department of the future, 
who were the recruits we needed, how did we get them here, and how did we build those educational programs working with our great, great allies in the education system, the Fire Chief Society. So with that, I will give you our Fire Chief, Harold Scoggins. Where do you go? There he is. Always got my back. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Harold Scoggins, Fire Chief of the Seattle Fire Department. Today is an exciting day, um, but it didn't come easy. It came with a lot of work. It was over two and a half years ago we started down this road um, with a meeting with Dr. Pan to talk about an opportunity to set up an Associates of Science degree program through the Seattle Colleges. And two and a half years later, you know, it's an exciting day to really announce that. You know, but there's a lot of people to thank along the way. I want to thank our mayor for believing in our fire department and supporting our community and really wanting the individuals in our community to have a pathway into really a, a good job, a, a, a proud career, a proud profession that all of our firefighters do and love each and every day in service to, to others. That's really important. And I mentioned Dr. Pan. I also want to mention Dr. Crawford for their partnership and really putting this program together, you know, jumping through all the hoops. And I didn't realize there would be so many of them, but I think we got through most of them. Um, <laughs> and we're set to go for, for fall of 2021. But I would be remiss if I didn't think my peer, my partner, Dwayne Chappelle in the Department of Early Education and Learning. Dwayne and I talked about this program a lot and, and Chris Alejo is here today and he's going to talk to you a little bit about that. So what does this program mean for our firefighters and for future firefighters? For our existing firefighters, it now creates a pathway for you to take some of the knowledge, skills and ability that you've already learned and transition that into potential college credit that can transition into an Associates of Science degree. You're also gonna learn leadership skills and continue to build yourself as a person. So our existing firefighters, there's an opportunity for you there. For all of those potential and new firefighters out there in the future, what does that mean? You know, I have experience teaching in the community college system, so I know the excitement of a person when they really get to that place where they really know that this is a good fit for them. You can start learning the language, the skills, the activities to really start moving to forward towards that career. And I got to tell you, being a firefighter, it's a proud job. It's a good job. It pays pretty well, too. Our new firefighters start off at about $72,000 a year when they start. You know, and that's the entry level start. So you can take care of your family. You can live in community. You can be engaged in community. But this is the start to a pathway for your future. So my encouragement is it's already open. You can register. I know some people who have already registered. We want to have the problem where the classes have all filled up. And then we're going to have to talk to North Seattle College about how do we add additional classes because they've all filled up. So with that, it's a great day. It's an exciting day. And now I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Crawford, the interim president of North Seattle College. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Well, good afternoon. I'm Shameen Crawford, uh, no longer interim president of North Seattle College, but president of North Seattle College. And I have to say that North Seattle College is thrilled to partner with the city of Seattle the Seattle Fire Department and the Department of Education and Early, Early Learning to launch the new fire science degree program this September. I would also like to recognize my Vice President of Instruction, Pete Lortz, and Dr. John Letterer, Executive Dean for North, uh, for working diligently with the Seattle Fire Department and others to assure full development of this program. This is the, as the mayor said, only fire science degree program in King County. We're proud to bring this opportunity to our college and to our community and proud to meet the need for more trained firefighters in King County. The fire science program is a great match for students who want to give back by serving our community and who are eager to pursue a career as a first responder. The program is designed to meet students' needs and to meet students where they are. The program is primarily online and is a two-year Associate of Applied Science degree, which is part of our skilled trades and technical training area of study. This program will equip students with the skills they need to begin their fire service career. And as part of the program, students will also complete an emergency medical technician certificate. North has a strong track record in preparing students for careers as first responders. 
North's Emergency Medical Technician Program is the longest running EMT program in the state with more than 30 years running. And over 90% of North graduates have passed the Washington State National Registry exams and have qualified for certification in the last seven years. Because of our partnership with the City of Seattle and Seattle Fire Department, we're able to offer a pathway to a highly skilled, high paying career for students. Enrolling in this program makes financial sense. North Seattle College has financial support for students through grants, scholarships, and work study. For anyone interested in this program, now is the time to apply for the fire science program and to apply for financial assistance. We strongly encourage anyone interested in this fire science program to reach out and apply now. You need to take full advantage of the financial support that comes along with this program. The partnership between North Seattle College and the Seattle Fire Department is an extraordinary employer engagement and to support this program, we've assembled an advisory committee that includes Chief Scoggins, excuse me, fire chiefs from three other local fire services and other emergency services personnel. This group will advise on instruction and assist with developing work-based learning opportunities for our students. We hope that the new fire science program will create a pipeline for ethnic and gender diverse candidates into the Seattle Fire Department and other local fire services. We welcome organizations that share our commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion to share this opportunity widely. We welcome individuals seeking a new direction and those looking to take the next step toward their ideal career. Now is the time to enroll at North. Fall quarter classes at North Seattle College start on Monday, September 27th, and we invite you to apply to the fire science program now and join our community in the fall. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Crawford. Uh, on behalf of the Department of Education and Early Learning uh, and Director Chappelle, who can't be with us today, uh, it's a tremendous honor to be with you today and to once again partner in bringing an exciting opportunity to Seattle students and our upcoming high school graduates. As we know through our work together with Dr. Crawford and Chancellor Pan in the Seattle Promise Program, when city and educational partners work together in collaboration with community to create equitable educational opportunities, Seattle students rise to the challenge, demonstrate their brilliance, and are given opportunities to thrive. We at DEAL are thrilled to join Seattle Colleges and Seattle Fire Department to open up this new pathway to college and career for Seattle students that will inspire more of our young people to pursue their goals after high school. In partnership with Seattle Public Schools, the City of Seattle is making strategic investments to close race-based opportunity gaps in education through Families, Education, Preschool, and Promise Levy, as well as through other city investments. Our school-based investments, investments in culturally specific and responsive programming and wraparound services, and investments in school health have been supporting students throughout the pandemic, especially those in our BIPOC communities and those who have been most impacted by the challenges of the last 18 months. To be able to now offer this new opportunity to recent graduates and those who are looking ahead to the future is very exciting. We at DEAL want our message to students to continue to be, we believe in you and your brilliance, and we believe in your potential. Chief Scoggins, it's an honor to partner with you and the Seattle Fire Department to launch this program that will prepare the next generation of firefighters for our city and give more students an opportunity to rise to their potential and service to the community. Mayor Durkin, I want to thank you for your leadership and steadfast commitment to Seattle students and to the work of educational equity that this new fire and science program represents. And with that, I'll turn it back to you, Mayor Durkin. Thank you, Chris. Um, and I would be remiss if I also didn't thank uh, Council Member Deborah Juarez, um, who is the Council Member for the 5th District where North College is, and she would want to remind you that's D5, but she has been a tireless advocate and supporter of this program and other programs for education and opportunity. I also want to thank the rank and file firefighters. That union throughout this pandemic has shown the true metal of Seattle. 
They, every challenge we've had, they've risen up to meet it while keeping everyone safe, but standing up testing programs, vaccination programs, and doing all the things they normally do. And as, far, as the Chief Scoggin said, I want every Seattle Public School student to know if you're out there and you're a Promise student, the city's going to pay your way to take these classes. You can succeed in these classes, and if you do, you can then serve the people of Seattle as a firefighter starting about $70,000 a year. If that sounds like a deal you want, <laughs> sign up today. Um, we hear a lot about Seattle and tech, and we, we love our tech classes and all the other opportunities we have through our Promise program and at the Seattle Colleges. But truly, this is going to be a program that gives a pathway that is so important, not just to our students, but to our community to get these students. So with that, any questions? I have a question that would be for probably either uh, Dr. Crawford or uh, Chief, Chief Scoggins. Um, what exactly is the relationship between, if you're not already a firefighter and you want to enroll in this, do you need some sort of application process with the department first to guarantee you employment, et cetera? Sure. Sure. I mean, these classes are going to be hosted by North Seattle College. So the normal college registration process is what, whether you're already a firefighter or you're a new student, you'd have to go through their normal process. I know what helped me when I enrolled in college classes. I went and met with a counselor first. We laid out a game plan and then we, we put a schedule together that worked, but that was all through a college. So it all starts at North Seattle College. <laughs> Dr. Crawford just said yay. We'll see. It. That's right. <laughs> Any other questions? I know you've already sort of answered this, but just in your own sort of off the cuff, why is this so important? Um, who are some of these folks that were, this is sort of a pretty new class yep. here. Can you just talk a little bit about, you know, who these folks are and why this is such an important program? You know, I think this is so important that it shows when community comes together, we can create new pathways of opportunity that help the community. And so you have this great collaboration between city departments, the fire department and our Department of Education and Early Learning, but with the Seattle colleges and community and really listening, what pathways do people want? What are those opportunities? And knowing Seattle, if it wants a future, has to have a diversified economy. We have to have opportunities and we see that we have many of them here, whether it's jobs at the port or other good family wage jobs. And this one, the fire department, is critical to keeping people safe. You can become an EMT or a regular firefighter. You can save lives um, and you can do it again on the city dime at one of the best colleges in the city and when you get out have an opportunity to family wage job. It's really important and I think our community, you know, voters stood up. They voted over 70 percent to tax themselves to provide these kind of opportunities and this shows that when they do that, we can follow through. Mayor, can I add a couple yep. things to that? I, I, I really want to talk about the, the importance. In, in King County, there's over 3,000 um, sworn firefighters that are doing the job right now. What we're seeing in our profession is we're seeing a turnover, just like a lot of other professions. The recruit class you see behind me, they just started last week, 39 new hires. Back in February, we had 39 more, but that's only Seattle. We're only one third. All of the departments in King County and around the state are hiring. There's about seven, 8,000 paid firefighters throughout the state of Washington. A lot of opportunities there. Once you get in, you're not just stuck in one lane. We have our paramedic program, our Medic One program. It's world renowned best program in the world. We have our fire inspectors, our investigators, our, our, our technical rescue teams. You see our fire boats, whether it's out on the sound or whether it's out on, on the lakes. You know, our hazmat teams. So many opportunities once you get the job. But a lot of jobs are coming available. We want to make sure the, um, the people here in King County have an opportunity. There's programs in Pierce County. There's programs in Everett. But we have a program right here, right now, in King County. We want our residents to have an opportunity to compete for these really good jobs. Thank you. Oh, wow. Let's see. Last week we had, we just hired 39. We're at about 54 right now. Um, and we'll have another class starting next February, another class starting next August. But not just us. In Zone 3, the southern part of King County, they're hiring. In the northern part, the eastern part, 
they're hiring. Our neighbors to the north, they're hiring. And this is a collaboration, not just Seattle, but the King County Fire Chiefs Association, along with Snohomish County Fire Chief uh, Thad Hovis and our technical advisory committee all coming together because we all see this as an opportunity to better our profession. Thanks. Um, I just want to add one thing to what the chief so eloquently said is we are also seeing that our firefighters now are being called to duty in places they haven't served before. With the increase of wildfires, we routinely see our firefighters go out. So as climate change worsens, the need for firefighters is going to grow. And as the chief said, that could be a really, the firefighter is a broad span of jobs. You can be a medic, you can be a technician, you can be the expert in how fire spreads, you can be the person fighting the fire. It's a great opportunity for people in Seattle and throughout King County to, to get into this program and get these jobs. But it's also great for the community because we need those people to keep us safe. Thank you everybody for being here, really appreciate it.